Hi again for USCFSales.com. I'm Steve Lopez with another Fritz video tip for you. I'm frequently asked by users, how do you get Fritz to play a particular opening? I'm asked that all the time. There's a number of different ways to do it. The cool part about this software is it's pretty flexible and it's usually more than one way to skin a cat. This is one of those cases. You could create your own database on a particular, or create your own opening book rather on a particular opening, or create a database and then make an opening book from that database if you wanted to. You can set up a board position, the, the tabia, the defining position of that opening. You can open a game from a database that starts with that opening and just jump to the defining position and start playing right there. There's a bunch of ways to do it, but there's an easy way to do it, and today we get a twofer. I get to show you two things at once. One is how to force Fritz to play a particular opening, the easy way, plus how to use a feature of Fritz, another training feature, since we've been looking at these, the opening training feature. So let's have a look. We'll show you how to do it. It's pretty cool. Let's go to the training menu, the training tab up here at the top. We've been looking at end game training a couple videos back. Now we're going to look at opening training. We'll click on it. And what this does is this gives us a menu of different openings. And these are very basic openings, by the way. We can get more detailed openings by clicking detailed, but we won't do that just yet. Uh, if we want to practice, let's say, for example, the Roy Lopez, which I've already selected, you can click on different openings. What you get is the defining board position and the moves that lead to that position down below here. And if you want to practice a particular opening, all you need to do is click on that opening. And what's What's going to happen here, it's going to force Fritz to respond, if you know this opening, to respond exactly as seen here. Whereas if you play something different, you're going to get an error message. So let's see what happens when we select Roy Lopez. First we'll try, uh, we'll do learn moves. Because if you don't do this, let me show you what happens if we don't select learn moves. We click OK. It jumps to that position. So if you already know how to play the Roy, for example, and you're playing the white side here, you can actually just make Fritz move right here by hitting the space bar or by going to home and selecting move now and it will force Fritz to make a move. Of course Fritz plays A6 and we can get in all kinds of different trouble here. You know I could play this and we move on. Play the Warl attack. However there's another way to do this and by the way if you click new game while you're in opening training look it goes right back to the Roy. It goes right back to that defining position. Something else we can do though is if you don't know the Roy if you're not familiar with it, you can select opening training and select learn moves. And what that does is it's going to have you play these moves against Fritz to practice them. So we click OK. And now we have a new game and we get to start by playing this, then this, then this. And notice that Fritz has moved. The, the defining position of the Roy is Bishop B5. But notice that Fritz has moved. What we've done is we've practiced that opening and we're now in a game with Fritz where we're playing that opening. And as before, we still in the opening book, we get the same moves. But where this actually ended, where the opening training actually turned off, was after 3 bishop b5. So by clicking learn moves, we can practice that opening. Let's try it again. We'll click OK. Let's say I make a move that's not 1e4. I make an incorrect move. Here's Leo, that's what I call the coach because he just looks like a guy named Leo. Leo pops up and d4 is the wrong move to play in a Roy Lopez. So I can either take back that move, ignore it, or I can have him show me the correct move, which is 1e4, so I can take that back and now play the right move. Again, we've hit the defining position. Fritz has cracked out another move from the opening book. We can back up and play the war. Oh, look at that cool. So there's a, uh, you know, Fritz played something different here, didn't play d6, and again I'm in a whirl, I'm just in a different position of the world. So that's pretty cool. So that's how you can use opening training to force Fritz into an opening. You can do this with any opening, by the way. We switch it off, go to new game, training, opening training, and Ali Ekin's defense. No, that's too easy because there's only two moves here. Well, we'll do the Karakon. Let's do that instead. And now I have to practice this opening. E4, C6, D4, I'll play the advanced variation. 
And, again, Fritz is just playing moves out of the opening book. We actually got out of opening training after C6. So we can actually start a game with Fritz where we force Fritz to play the Karakon defense. So there's a dual purpose to opening training. We could practice particular opening moves against the computer by selecting an opening and have to play those moves out. The other thing you can do, either with learn moves switched on or switched off, is if you select a particular opening, Either you'll jump to that position or have to play them out, and we can start right here and play a game against the computer. We forced it to play the Karakon defense. Something about opening training that you need to know also is that we've had people, I see this on message boards all the time, where people will look at this list of openings and say, well, those are very basic openings. Um, I want something more complex. Well, guess what? If you click Detailed, you get a whole bigger list now where you can pick a particular variation of say the Karakon. You can still do the one go the one E four C six route, or you can force the advanced variation, the classical, the exchange, Panov's attack. There's all kinds of things you can do here. You can pick different openings and notice that these detailed openings go much deeper. They go many more moves into a defining position. So that's another way to use this particular feature, particularly if you click Learn Moves, you will have to play this move sequence exactly or Leo will pop up and tell you that you made a mistake. And the cool part is when you reach the end of this sequence of moves, when you reach E takes F6 in this particular variation of the Karo Khan, uh, once that move has been played by Fritz and you play a sixth move as white, you're into a game. You've made Fritz play this particular variation of the Karakon defense. So we had a twofer this time around. Not only how to use opening training, oh by the way chain sides if you click that, that just means if you play multiple games it'll switch sides from game to game. You play white the first time then black then white then black with chain sides selected. Uh, so we had a twofer. Not only do we learn how to use opening training but we also learned how to use this feature to force Fritz into a particular opening. So now you know how to do it. This is the easy way to do it. There's other ways as I said, create your own opening book, for example, and we'll look at that at some future time. But for now, this should be good enough for most people to force Fritz into a particular opening. And you can learn how to play a particular opening by having Learn Moves checked when you're in this dialogue. Till next time for USCF Sales, I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you for watching.